I know, I know. The title of this video is probably pretty alarming. How could water possibly be bad for us if we need it to survive? The answer to that is complicated, and water is not actually bad for us. But the way we source our water is, and this leads to greater amounts of water supplies becoming lower and lower quality. From the beginning of time, water has been on this planet, but since then, things have obviously changed, like a lot. This is of course leading to issues with our water. For example, the amount of pollution going into our waters can affect the water supply that runs in your tap. The same tap you use to fill your glass of water with, completely unfiltered. This exact same water also runs in your shower, which will absorb into your skin. Toxic chemicals and minerals can get into this water supply through, like I said, pollution from things like factories, landfill runoff, and simply just the general public's contribution to water pollution. This is why water is quote unquote bad, but there are ways of combating this. The first and most obvious thing to do would be using a water filter. This is obviously the first choice of everybody, but the price you pay is the quality you get, and spending 20 bucks on a Brita filter is not gonna get all the harmful chemicals out, like mercury, pesticides, lead, or chlorine. A Brita is a very low quality, one stage filter system, and I'm not here to bash Brita, but if you do use a Brita, just know your water is not much different before and after you filter it. The best filter on the market is a reverse osmosis water system. Yes, these systems are expensive, but I like to tell people that your hospital bill will probably be much more expensive than the actions you take to better your health. You can attach a reverse osmosis system to the bottom of your sink and it will filter it automatically. They will usually run you about $150 to $250 depending on the kind you get as you can get a countertop filtration system as well. Make sure to get a five stage filter as these will cleanse the water as best as possible. After filtration though, your water will be deprived not only of the bad minerals, but also unfortunately of some of the good minerals. Remineralizing is simple though. You can either use electrolytes or you can simply put a small pinch of Himalayan salt into your water. And no, salt is not as bad as you think it is calm down. Now an RO water filter is a great option, but there is an even better option that you can opt for. This one is a little less accessible though unfortunately, that being spring water. You would either have to purchase a brand at the store like Mountain Valley and don't get plastic, more on that in a bit, or you can fill your own glass jugs at a nearby spring, which is what I like doing. You can use a site called Find a Spring which will show you all hot springs and cold springs around your area. Spring water will contain all the vital minerals that are optimal for your water. Now, back to the idea of plastic. If your idea would be to buy plastic water bottles with spring water, please don't. This will do more harm than good. First off, some brands do label that they take from springs, but they fill their bottles with simple tap water from the location and add a small amount of minerals. It is no different than your tap at home. Secondly, Plastic bottles are often let out in the sun during transportation. This beating heat on the plastic releases BPA, or bisphenol A, into the water. BPA can alter your hormones and can accelerate development of cancers. Not only that, but microplastics can leach into the water as well. And when you drink these, they're sent to the liver to be detoxified. But your liver is unable to, and plastic can build up and harm your liver function. The average human is estimated to consume about the size of a credit card's worth of microplastics every single week. So please, don't buy plastic bottles. As for your shower, a simple filter would work, preferably a filter that can detox chlorine as one of the minerals. A lot of times, unfiltered shower heads can bother people's hair and skin, causing oily hair and skin, or depending on the person, very dried out hair or skin. Now tap water is technically labeled as safe for human consumption but I would argue it is not. Short term, okay, maybe, but long term, certainly not. I mean, take a look at the amount of contaminants in your tap water. Go to ewg.org, put your area code in and find your water supply. There are probably tons of contaminants, some even as crazy as arsenic. So again, I would say no, tap water is not safe for human consumption. And I recommend each and every one of you to take action to improve your water habits. It's a simple change, but it goes a long way. Thanks for watching.